Hey everybody, this is going to be my ball review on the new bundle, the 4th of July bundle. This is the Season 76 ball and also Independence ball. First, let's take a look at the Independence ball. We got to have a P10, a side spin 5, win 0, top spin boost 9. This is my first ball review on the new stats. Please excuse me if I make some mistakes, so I'm still getting used to this. So P10 is maximum power, side spin 5 is around 2.5 side spin is what we're used to. It'd be interesting to see what that looks like in my grid lines. Uh, win zero, so we're going to be blasting this ball. And a top spin boost nine, which is essentially 4.5 uh, boost. We have a 2% needle, which is absolutely solid. And all in all, this ball looks pretty round. It looks like a very, very decent addition. Those that didn't get the top spin boost uh, five, which would now be a top spin boost 10. This is certainly an opportunity to grab some of these. Looks like a good stat. We'll have a look at that in our grid lines in a moment. But let's have a look at the second ball. Okay, the season 76, what can I say? I mean, this is a burger, which is <laughs> very funny. I mean, uh, when we're using a golf ball as a burger, we know the game's really gone in a funky direction. <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. It looks pretty round. As long as we're centering this across the top and bottom, I don't foresee massive problems. Uh, P5, uh, so that's power 2.5, which is really weird, actually. I've got this completely wrong. Yeah, so that's power 2.5, side spin 7, which is essentially 3.5 spin, uh, wind resistance 10, highest wind resistance possible, and precision 7, which is going to be somewhere between a precision three and a precision four. So we'll be interested to see what that looks like. I've never seen this type of statistic before, which would indicate uh, the reason for the new stats made this way so we can use odd numbers. Uh, we do have a 2% needle again, which is pretty solid. Uh, but let's get this in the grid lines and have a little bit of a better look. Okay, let's take a look at our first ball. I think we're going to go for the independence ball first, the blast ball. So... With max boost, uh, 4.5, looks a hair under the 0.5 to my eye. I'm assuming the newer grid lines, that looks more like 4.4. But let's have a look at this from a size perspective. Okay, the ball is small. Uh, it's one click small all the way around. One to two clicks, actually, really quite a small ball, this. But in all honesty, most of the time, we're going to be blasting these. I don't foresee that being a huge problem. We normally send this into an end bringer. So size-wise, it's small, it's round, but I don't see this being a huge issue. So then for the second ball, let's go and have a look at this cheeseburger ball. Outrageous, and let's have a little look. I've never seen what this goes up to. Oh, plus 14, okay, that's interesting. Normally, plus 12 is P2, plus 16 is P3. We are somewhere in the middle. Side spin here. Oh, that's bang on the line, actually, for me. Uh, be interesting to see what that looks like when I reset the spin. It's actually bang on the halfway mark. So look at this for sizing. Uh, same again. The the balls the balls are almost identical. They're all one click small. Like this is a a hair bigger, but this is uh, one click small again. Don't see it being a huge issue. I mean, I can just drop that one click under my uh, top line. But considering it's a burger, it's actually. Livable. <laughs> I will talk a little bit more and I'll just wrap this up. Final words here before I uh, wrap this uh, ball review up. It kind of is one of those scenarios where this ball here, the independence ball, I believe is the most uh, valuable ball here, considering the top spin boost is extra. Uh, the one that had the top spin boost five, I didn't get across many accounts. This has half a ball, uh, half a bar more than four top spin. Is that going to be hugely relevant? I don't know. I don't think too much, but it wouldn't hurt to get a few. This ball's okay. I mean, it's between a P2 and a P3 with a bit with three and a half side spin. We've got lots of this. We've got loads of P2 or P3 precision balls. I don't see this being amazing. Uh, the precision slightly more, but really the star of the show is that ball, uh, the blast ball. But all in all, I've seen worse bundles. At least one is not garbage. They are both pretty good, and they got and they're obviously very, very, very different. And I think from a master perspective, they will both be valuable. It just really depends on the, if you are lacking in any department of these two these two statistics. If you do lack these, 
I would get a handful. And if you don't, I think they're more than okay to get in the prism. Hope you enjoyed the ball review and good luck. Catch you all soon.